Hi, in this video of C programming language, we will talk about string constants. Basically, whenever we use any method like printf or putf, we pass the double quote symbol inside the parenthesis in order to print a string. So, anytime when you want to write a string literal, you will have to enclose the value inside these double quotations. So, anything inside a double quote will be treated as a string. In this video particularly, we will not talk about assigning any string value to a variable as we will cover about the string variable things in the character array in our coming videos. As in C language, we don't have any data type such as a string. So, here let's talk about only printing the string value. Like here, you can, if I want to print something like hello dear, so what can I do? I can put it in a straight line like hello dear. Or if I have a big value and I want to split them in the multiple lines, I can continue that by putting a backslash. So this backslash will bring the continuity in the value which you have written. And similarly, if you are not putting any slash n or slash t, any space or new line thing, uh, you can use multiple printf things also, like in one printf you will write hello, in another you will write d and then ear. So ultimately all the text will be printed in a same line and the output will remain same. If you want to put any unicode character, you can put it like with by beginning with the slash u. Like here, if I want to put this pound symbol, so I can simply say slash u. 20 AC. So it will print the pound symbol. Similarly, we do have the different Unicode character for different symbols. So let's have a practical look over the string values like how and what all we can do by printing a string value. So here we'll just cover the strings which we used to print using printf while if I'll talk about the string values assigning in a variable, we will cover that while working with the character arrays. So here what I have done is it's a simple message like hello and world. If you want you can just print the complete message as a whole. But here just wanted to show you like even if I will split the statement into multiple printfs it will not break the line actually unless I use something like a slash n. But if there is a big paragraph which you want to print inside a printf or if you want to assign it into a something a collection like thing or array you can just make a continuation by putting this slash at the end. So if there's a long paragraph which you want to print and obviously when you will write them all in a straight line, you may get a scroll bar here or uh, horizontal which will help you out in scrolling the large text but that will not be readable properly by a developer. So if you want to split the large text in a multiple lines, then in that case you can just end up that line with the black slash. If I will remove that you will see like here now the color the font color is changed to blue uh, from bl blue to black and now when I'll compile it will show me the error. But as soon as I will put the backslash at the end you see now this will be considered as a complete statement a complete sentence. So when I'll execute it again you will see that there is no difference in the output like in both the cases we are getting hello comma world either you are printing it in that way or if you want to rather than going for multiple printfs you can just split the bigger text by using this backslash